Hey, uh, Marce. How's it going? So tell me, what can I do for you mm, today? I, I don't have like a specific question. Mm -hmm. I just, um, I, I get like confused with all the verbs when they are like, they have these uh, auxiliaries. Oh, auxiliaries. Yes, but sometimes I, well, in, in Spanish, we have like three verbs. So, uh, like, pude haber hecho. That kind of like the verbs, I don't know how do you pass in English or how can you say that because they are they are three verbs and I don't know what it does in Ah, okay. I, I kinda got your question. Mm -hmm. Is that the one you said? Yes, that's like an example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now my recommendation with this one, Beatrice, is for you to have the structure with you. Uh -huh. and a lot of exercises. Now, for example, tú uh, pudiste haber venido. We're going to have you could have come. And the compliment. Uh, today, you could have come. Right? This is an unreal situation that didn't happen in the past. Uh -huh. So you're going to have subject plus could plus have plus verb uh, in past participle. Do you know what is the past participle? Yes, it's like the thir third form. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So this is the structure that you're going to have. And I am just focusing on this one, but you can apply it to all of the grammar tenses. Now, if you want, you can text me. And you can tell me, hey, uh, I don't know what this structure is. Could you please help me? And I'll be glad to do it. All right? I, I, I do have some questions about like the exams. Um, how, how are the exams? Like, okay. Prepared. Good. Let me just answer that question after we practice. Okay. Following the structure, don't try to come up with the whole sentence at once, at the beginning. Right, because that's a little bit confusing. So what you can do is, okay, give me, a, tell me a subject, whatever. First thing that comes to your mind. Uh, my mom. My mom, and then following the structure. Could, could, could have, have. Give me a verb. Uh, whatever, eat, anything. Eaten. Eaten. Uh huh. And eaten what? Give me a compliment. Eaten a hamburger. Okay. My mom could have eaten a hamburger. What is the meaning of that in the Spanish? Uh, me va a poder comido. Mi mamá pudo haber comido. Mm -hmm. So, tip number one, try to understand it in the Spanish. I'm not saying translate, not necessarily, but knowing when, to, when do you use it in the Spanish and compare so you can have an idea. Now, okay. in this structure, did your mom eat a hamburger? No. She no. could have. She could have. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. So don't try to say like, oh, but my mom could have eaten. That is too much. So you say, so just say, my mom could have altogether, right? Because you're not going to change it. And the verb in past participle. Okay. So the idea is for you to put it together because could have is not going to change. Ah, okay. Give me another one. Give me a subject. Anybody? Um, you. I. Or uh, Alejandro. And then? Uh, could have. Could have. Verb. Uh, 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 taught, uh, taught me. Taught me. Yeah, it taught, it, that what? Word taught me um, how to, to spell B. How to spell B. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Now, let me ask you something. Would you ever come with this example if you thought about it? It is impossible that out of your mind, you're going to say, Quiero ver, ¿qué me, ¿qué me invento? Alejandro me pude haber ayudado a deletrear. Me pudo haber enseñado a, de, a deletrear abeja. That's not going to happen, right? Because it doesn't really make sense. 
So this is the way that I would recommend you to work with grammar. Write it down, okay. try to make it simpler, and then practice one particular item at a time. Okay? Now, any questions with this that I just mentioned? No, I, I think that's, that's good. That's good. All right, and remember, it requires a lot of practice. Okay? So, uh, recapping, try to understand it in Spanish, not necessarily to, tra to translate, but for you to know when to use it. Then try to write down the structure and make it as simpler as you can, and then follow each of the parts of the structure to create as many sentences and examples as you need. All right, and then you have uh, questions about the test, yes. right? What do you want to know about the test? I don't know. Uh, like it's it's like a conversation. It's in the platform. And mm -hmm. Yes, in there. Uh, oh, okay. Second option. It's on the oh. platform. On the platform. Everything Marcela related to the internet is on, on Facebook, on WhatsApp. Okay. Give me more examples. On Twitter. On Twitter. On. Uh, Instagram. On the internet, en el internet. In internet. Siempre tiene que ir on the internet, always. Okay. En la plataforma. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do you say that? En la plataforma. On the platform. Mm -hmm. So the test is on the platform. It's okay. at the end of unit two, and it's, it has it's four Friday parts. Or the next. Mm. It's Friday. No. Good question. I think this Friday. This Friday, we're going to have the review so you could do it on the weekend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and the, in the homeworks, like the, the forums, um, we are now in what class? To, because I, I did a homework, but I, I didn't know if that was, um, that we I, I guess we saw that the topic, but I'm not sure. Okay. Just to, to be on the. All right. How do so, you say like, like, um, día? The, the what? I'm sorry? Como, como estar al día. Uh, to be up to date. Up okay. to date. So, um, the one that we are on right now is video conferencia numero 13. So homework that you have to be up to date with is 2.11. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you something real quick. Here, this is the platform, right? You have your progress. Oh, okay. So in your, uh, on the progress tab, this is a tab, right? On the progress tab, you can see what, what homework is missing. So for example, as you can see, I haven't done anything. <laughs> But there you got zero out of 20, zero out of 20, zero out of 20, and unit the, two. So the these forums, are your homework. They are not there, right? Or the forums are in the, down below the videos. The, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Down below the videos. Okay, I'm going so, to check that. Yep, I really hope that you are able to be up to date, like I said. Sometimes I do not answer immediately, but, you know, uh, try to do your best with it. Text me if you have any questions. Appreciate that. Thank You're welcome. You. I really hope that I, that I was able to help you with the vocab with the grammar yes. thing. Yes. And uh, keep you. it up. Keep it up. You're doing great. You got great English, right? A little bit more. Speak a little bit louder with more confidence and rock it. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Marcela. You Thank you for well. staying. See you tomorrow.
Hey, hey, Roxana, good evening. Thank you. Uh, just make sure you remove mute so I can hear you. You unmute yourself. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Thank you for staying. So, tell me, what can I do for you? Well, I have questions about reported speech mm -hmm. because in the homework, it was so hard for me to, to make it right all the sentence. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll try several times. And I think that it was right and they uh, still haven't marked like wrong. So I don't know where is the mistake. Okay. Um, which is the one, which homework were you having issues with? So I can help. Uh, in the 2.11. Let me go there. Remember that, I'm not sure if that happened, but in 2.11 there was a little... Oh no, 2.11 is is the one that's coming. Oh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have to do that. No, no, you do, you do. You have to do it now. Let oh, me, okay. okay. Let me go ahead and load it. Give me a second. But in the uh, past uh, homeworks, mm -hmm. uh, I have the, the same mistakes because mm -hmm. I do some sentence with help and you did it's okay right I did I did the the homework with help but mm -hmm. uh, if I want to learn I want to do it by myself I totally and, understand and and uh, I don't know where is the mistake okay. when when somebody helped me obviously I I know that I was wrong, but <laughs> um, right now I don't know where is the mistake. Got it. As far as that, Roxana, if you want, yeah. send me exactly because two point eleven is not reported speech. Yeah. The, the homework is it's not about reported speech. At least two point eleven, two, which is unit two. Two, 2 point eleven. Really. Yeah, I got I something. So. Yeah, I got something different with two point eleven. So what I can do for you now is help you a little bit with questions about reported speech, because okay. we're not gonna have enough time. And you can tell me, hey, I'm having issues with homework, two point eleven, exercise three, okay. and I can see what you're doing, so I can tell you what the mistake is. All right. Okay. Now, as far as reported speech, when do we use it? Do you remember that? Yes, when we want to say something that a third person said, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, that a third person says. So one of the first things that we have to identify is that you have uh, imperatives as affirmative sentences. Yeah. Okay, then we have imperatives as, uh, then we have, my apologies, reported speech, affirmative sentences. Reported speech imperatives. Reported speech, yes, no questions. Reported speech, information questions. So it tends to be confusing, okay? Yeah. My recommendation will be for you to do one by one. Dedicate okay. some time to practice um, affirmative sentences. Once that okay. you are super clear, then you move to the next topic because indeed it tends to be confusing yes because in, in some examples mm -hmm. uh, we use like um like for example in in when we use wood mm -hmm. and and i don't know how how the verb is going to change and you said had with wood. I don't know. <laughs> I have a, a mess over over there. Okay. The, um, the thing is this. Wood is already uh, the past of will. Yes. Mm -hmm. So normally with wood, you don't go any lower. You leave it there. Okay. So the only thing that you change is, for example, the verb at the beginning. 
So like he said that he would travel. What is it? Do you have any any example right there so I can help you with that one in particular? I have one here. Mm -hmm. uh, say that uh, we went out last night. Mm -hmm. She told me. And and my reporter speech was she told me that they had gone. Yes. So you gone. go. Uh -huh. So yeah, you go yeah. from simple past to past yeah. participle. But when I know that is part participle. When past participle. Past participle. Because we you you use I use went. Uh huh. So I guess that the key here, Roxana, yeah. is for you to be able to identify what tense do you want to convert. Okay, because I can tell you, when you are in, sim, I'm going to write it down. When you are using, for example, simple present, you send it to, you uh, swift back to? Simple past. Simple right? past. Mm -hmm. When you use simple past, you switch it to past perfect. Simple and that's past it. past to? Past perfect. Past perfect. Mm -hmm. Then and we use the... And that's it. If you already have something in past perfect, you cannot go back because there is nothing there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. From simple present to simple past and from simple past to past perfect. Okay. Right? And, but it sounds good, the, the example that... Uh, the one you gave me? Yes. Yeah. The one you gave me, it is But good. it's still run in the homework <laughs> but that's why i'm letting you know that i need to see which is the one that you are having okay. issues with and let me explain to you why okay the homework had some uh, mistakes okay okay and sometimes it is very specific like look at the chat here i don't know if it's going to be able to see it's too small that little thing that goes like this yeah. Como el acento en español. Yeah. yeah. Is different than this. Is yeah. different than the apostrophe. Yeah. So one is like this, and the other one is like this. If you choose the one that is incorrect, the system is gonna mark you down. Okay. So I see that you can use it. I mean, with or without help, but you can use it. Now it's about practice to improve, obviously. And as far okay. as the platform, I must see what is it that you are writing so I can identify what the problem is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, we have time. I have another example if you want to help. Go ahead, yes. I didn't go to the party she told me. Uh-huh. She told me that she hadn't gone. Okay. Yep. That's right. Okay. You got it. You know, give yourself a little credit, Roxana, because you know but, it. <laughs> okay. The platform okay. is the one that is confusing you. Do okay. not let the platform confuse you. I'm going to help you with it. Just text me and tell me now specifically, this is the one, and I will help you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, before you leave, thank you. Thank okay. you for thank your you. dedication, for your participation, for you bringing joy to the class. Because I see you, you know, I don't know why, but I see you happy. I don't know if you're happy in your life, but... Yes, I that, am. <laughs> that actually goes to other people, and you help out a lot in the group. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you to you. Thank you for your patience, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. So it okay. was my pleasure, Roxana. Thank you. Me too. Continue Thank doing you. that. Great job. Bye. Bye, -bye. Bye teacher.
Hey, JC. Hey. Thank you very much for coming. Tell me, what can I do for you? Uh, I have a, a problem with the homework, for example, 2.14. I, I don't know when, uh, when to, or how to translate or report a speech. I have a difficult for example okay but you are saying homework 2.14 yeah. ah i see it and the uh, and the last part mm -hmm. the description says uh type of report of speech okay uh, example number one he works in the bank she said i don't know she uh, i tried to to change the the sentences. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I try many kinds. <laughs> okay, nah, no worries. Now in this one, Juan Carlos, reported speech is a little bit confusing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So first of all, you need to know what is the tense that you are using. So you need so you understand what to use after that. For example, for example, in this case, it's the present. Correct. And what are you going uh -huh. to use? The uh, past. Correct. So uh -huh. we begin talking. Ella dijo que él trabajó en un banco. So we have the first expression. It's going to be who is saying that. But the, in this case, uh, uh, the, ella dijo que trabajó o trabaja. Es que I don't know. But uh -huh. I, I think that it's. De, 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 dijo que trabaja. Ajá. He said he worked in a bank. Mm -hmm. Now, in Spanish, it can be, mira, él dijo que trabajaba en un banco. Ajá. Okay. Entonces, preguntarle a él, tal vez te ayuda a sacar el pisto. Right? Okay. Uh, I put the she say uh, that he worked in a bank, but it's, it's wrong. It is, but it is correct. What you are telling me is the right answer. She said he worked in a bank. Now, um, make sure, number one, JC, because you got it, it is correct. Make sure that you have capital S in she. Make sure that there's no mistake, no double space, and that you write down the period at the end. Try yeah. it with me right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I. She said he worked in a bank. Mm -hmm. That, as always, is optional. So you can, you may or you may not put it, and it's the same. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Now, you see? So sometimes yeah. it's the typing. And as, yeah. I, was, as I was saying, Roxana, do not let the, the platform confuse you. Okay, because you were right all the time. Uh, for example, uh, the, the next one is we went, we went out last night. Uh -huh. she, what uh, what she tense? Told me, she told me, what tense is that? The, the, when is the past or gone? Aha, uh -huh. so that is simple past, right? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, simple past. Uh huh. And uh, what do we use? Uh, we need to use a perfect, past perfect. Correct. So, mm -hmm. let me help you. Who is saying that? Uh, she. Uh-huh. So, we're going to have, she told me. Mm -hmm. uh, we had gone. Uh huh. Had gone uh, out last night. Yes, but remember, if somebody is telling you, this is you. Uh, let me see. This is you, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is your friend, and she is with more people. 
right? Here are here are more people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, we went out last night, and then you turn at me and you tell me. She told me, they. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh -huh. because you are not included. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try it out. And make sure that you work with the capital S, the period at the end. Yeah. Did you get it right? Mm -hmm. Let me see. No. I then. She told me they, they have gone out last night. I don't know what. Uh, wow. you, you can also try, uh, they had gone out the night before. Try that. It's another way of saying last night. The night before. Night before. Mm -hmm. Out the night. The night before. Night before. Mm -hmm. And the period, don't forget the period. Yeah. Yep. You got it? It's correct, yeah. So you see, sometimes it's either uh -huh. a little mm -hmm. detail that we uh, typed incorrectly or mm -hmm. a detail of appreciation. But Juan Carlos, mm -hmm. give yourself credit because you do understand the structure. Mm -hmm. Don't let mm -hmm. these little details uh, um, make you feel bad about your grammar because you're doing it great. Okay. So. Yeah. That's it, I tried to the, the, the last three, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh -huh. I, I, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you for, for your participation. Thank you for always trying your best to connect, okay? Okay. Keep okay. it up, my man, you got this. Trust, believe in yourself, you got this. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Good have night. a good night, JC. Let me know if you have any issues, all right? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Take care.
Hey, Bam. You're muted. <laughs> You're mute. Sorry. No worries. Tell me, what can I do for you? I have questions, by the way. Um, with the platform. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Tell me. Because, okay. A number, you need two, mm -hmm. two point two. 14. Got it. We have three because I don't know why it's incorrect. To say we went out last night. She told me. Uh huh. It's incorrect, and I use. Uh, she told me uh -huh. uh, that that we went out, that we had gone out. Last night. Okay. Okay, I tried in um, with many options, but because if I was incorrect, but uh, always got it. Incorrect. Now so, let me explain this to you. As okay. I did the same in, 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 with the previous person, with JC. He was asking me the same thing. Now. Yes three sentence because the other two is we got this right mm -hmm. okay so this is the person and the other ones the pens are the other ones hey we went out last night alejandro can i say we i am not here i am here mm -hmm. so i cannot use we ah, okay hey they okay mm -hmm. we change to they and also you can say uh you can use another expression which is the night before instead of last night i, I try with that mm -hmm. but it's a, a, maybe my problem is with they because i try with give it a try okay give it a try right yeah. now see if it works <laughs> right now my computer oh okay <laughs> mm, okay no worries and the next one okay the next one is a uh, in the same exercise mm -hmm. is i didn't go to the party she told me mm -hmm. so um i changed to so she told me at the beginning okay and i have mm -hmm. She has not gone to the party. Okay. So it's incorrect too. I don't know. <laughs> Recommendation um, contracted. Contraction. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you have? Read to me what you have, please. Tell me. Read the, the answer that you have for this one. Okay. Uh, I have. She told me. Uh -huh. that, she, that she had not gone to the party. Uh huh. It is correct. Just go ahead and contract it. Try that way. Ah, okay. Instead of had not, hadn't, it's... and make sure that you use the right thing because 
for example. I'm not even here. This one, as you can see, is like this. Okay. And the one you have to use is like this. So make sure you use the correct apostrophe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yes, and the next is she said she said that I would not it's the same with contraction. But because the exercise is I won't see you tomorrow, she said. Ah, uh huh. Yes, that's right. The yes, past of will is would. Yes. So it's in this case wouldn't. Correct. Mm -hmm. What do you okay. have? She said that she would not see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow? No, see her tomorrow. See her tomorrow? No, no, see me, see me. Uh huh, exactly. Sorry. Don't be sorry, it's fine. See me. So she okay. said that she won't see me tomorrow. Try to link it yes. and change the you for me. Yes, in my computer I have correct, but now I'm improve, improvise this. <laughs> no worries, I totally understand. Okay, and the, I, I check all the platform. I don't know if we have time. Uh, we have like, uh, like a minute, but tell me. If not, you can always text me. You know that it, sometimes I might answer a couple of hours later, but yes, I will definitely help yes. you one day or another. <laughs> Uh -huh. What okay, other question do you have? Yes, in unit four, I, uh -huh. more I have. In the exercise four, five. 4.5. 4. 4.5. 4. 5 uh, I'm is, heading there. I select it's I don't go often to, is theater and the theater. Wait, I wait, select. Wait, wait. 4.5, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> so I want to know which one. Oh, with the zero article. Yes. Uh -huh. I read all the I read all the book and make some exercise. Uh -huh. But in some that exercises, case, exercises. Uh -huh. So both are incorrect. I select the theater or theater and it's incorrect. I think uh, it's it's an, an issue in the platform. Problem. Yes. Okay. Give me a second. Which one is it? Theater, it's, the last one. Yes, the last one. Number five. Mm, yep, you are totally right. I'm going to report it as soon as the class finishes because indeed it has to be fixed. You are totally right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's my <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you. Thank you for, for working on the platform. And if you know that if you have any question, go ahead and text me, okay? Yes. Remember, okay. try, don't be sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, have a good one, thank Beatrice. You. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow.
Hey, Abner. Good evening. Hey, good evening, teacher. I'm sorry for coming late. <laughs> no, don't worry. You're, you're, you still have time. Tell me, what can I do okay. for you? Okay, uh, we can talk about whatever I want. <laughs> yes. Mm, for example, if you have any question with uh, the structures that we have covered, if you have any vocabulary question, if you have, if you need any advice. Ah, okay. Whatever uh, you want, as far as it's. it's okay, I think that. I'm okay, I think that I need advice to maybe improve my 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 book my vocabulary okay. and my skills to to learn english i don't know all right okay, uh, okay. so as far as sure i mean believe it or not uh, abner these are very common things right uh, questions okay. that people learning english have um what are you doing to learn vocabulary how do you do it okay sometimes i i try to i try to read books in, in english but you try to read books in english okay but the problem is that i need to i need to sometimes when i when i found uh, any words uh, i i found the words and i the, find okay i find uh -huh. i find i find it in the words in the dictionary mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, okay okay and how often is that sometimes? Once a week? Maybe two, twice a week. Okay, that's the problem. Okay. That's the problem. So, number one, you have to do it every day. Okay. Simple as that. The structure is easy. Subject, verb, complement. But yeah. without vocabulary, you're chifling in the hills. <laughs> that, that doesn't <laughs> okay. exist. Silvando la loma. So, recommendation number one, learn seven to ten verbs a day. Seven to ten verbs every day. Yes, it can be verbs or nouns or whatever. But that's, that must be like religion, right? Religion, okay. Now, second advice do not translate okay okay so don't say for example pen lapicero pen lapicero don't say that just do it like this look pen 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 i use a pen to write letters to my mom right okay so don't translate it it can work sometimes right but don't translate that's okay. number one number two i can give you like a hundred number two um create examples so for example you are you are having problems with um si simple past let's say that you it is difficult for you then create okay. examples in simple past with the vocabulary okay right if it's a verb that you are learning you can say give me a verb any verb um, drink okay so i drank because you want it in past right okay. i drank tequila okay another one i drank horchata, I drank horchata. another one i drank uh Kususa, whatever, right? <laughs> whatever. And you start changing just the complement. Okay. A complement. Uh-huh. And one of the most important things, Abner, is that you have to learn verbs that you are going to use. Okay? Simple as that. Don't learn the verb, uh, for example uh emancipate emancipar like a, a child you know has the, the his own rights don't use don't learn a verb that you're verbs that you're not gonna use okay mm -hmm. 
on and their then, youth phones. Exactly. Why? Because right now is when you need to practice. No te okay. estás aprendiendo cosas que, que no vas a ocupar, o sea, verbos como, no sé, defibrilar, que creo que me lo estoy inventando, o cosas así. Don't, don't use that. If okay. you like cooking, learn verbs about cooking. If you like cars, learn the parts of the cars. Um, write this down, word by word, picture dictionary. Write it down, word by word, picture dictionary. Anotable, es un diccionario en PDF. Word by word, picture dictionary. Picture. Picture dictionary. Mm -hmm. That is a app or no? It's a it's a PDF book. Ah, PDF. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a book in PDF that it doesn't have Spanish. It just has pictures and um, and then the letters. Okay. Okay. The the the, the name of the word. Okay. Abner, text me. Text me to my number. I'm gonna send you a link right now. Text, uh, text me, send me a message. Uh, on the Zoom or what's up? What's up? Ah, what's up? Okay. Okay, so to this one, I'm gonna send you a link with a couple of recommendations, okay? Okay. All right, very good. So, um, dedication, sir. Dedication, Thank you, teacher. Thank effort, you. and that's it. Okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect, anything else that I might be able to do for you tonight? Only the teacher. Okay, have a good one, my man. Take care. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Thank Bye. you. Good evening.